Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me. Welcome back to another Fall 76 video. There's a couple of videos that have been floating around just in the last couple of days about about floating vases and stacking foundations. I wanted to test this out for myself. It's been a while since I've done a video, but I want to go ahead and I want to test this out to see if it's any good. So let's go ahead. I just put I just put this down in the flattest, widest spot I could find. So we're gonna go ahead and let's see. Let me shift this B. Let's see what we can do about this. It's okay. So we're gonna throw down. If I remember, if I if I understand this build correctly, um, you put down a foundation here. Let me go ahead and just go up a little bit here. Where's the edge of my property? Let's go to the edge of my property first, and it would give myself a little bit of room for a ladder, and put that down there. And if I understand this right, it's supposed to be two, three, four. And we'll do five. I think it's only four, really. I think it's only four. Let's just do four. That's fine. And we'll do one ladder here. And this is a this is an exploit. This is a glitch. So you know, I mean, take this for what it's worth, and you know, do this at your own risk because Bethesda has been cracking down on banning people. So you want to make sure that you you're real careful about what you do. And if Bethesda bans me for this, well, then that's I'm just one another uh, in a long list of content creators that gets banned. So you know. It's one of those things. I, I kind of half expect them to ban my my account, but if they don't, then that's great. I'm just testing this. And Bethesda, if you're watching this, uh, you know, if it's broken, you should probably fix it. All right. I'm not using this on a regular basis. It's a test, so you know, take it for what it's worth. All right. Let's see here. And then you, what you put down two. Oh, sorry. So you put down a ladder here. You put a ladder there so it can snap. And then you put down two half ceilings. For some reason, he said that you need half ceilings. I haven't tested it anywhere beyond that. And then grab a campfire real quick. And then we'll just place a campfire right on the edge in the middle of this found of this of this floor. And then we're gonna go up here back up to my foundation and it should snap. Yeah, it, yeah, and then it snaps. The campfire makes things think that it's on the ground. And that's how you can also put down I have a video in my playlist here where you can put down crops on top of campfires and also water purifiers on top of campfires inside your base so that once your water purifier is powered you can use that small purifier to create water inside your base and grow crops inside your base as well so now what we have here guys is we have and you you, know, you can take this you can take this once you're done with that you can take this and do whatever with it it doesn't really matter so it's not it's not contingent on that on that campfire being there to stack these foundations and then you can get rid of all this other stuff, and you can and you can you can um, just keep adding to it, right? So you can just keep adding to it. So the thing about this, and I'm not going to go all into this, guys, but um, we can go like this. Let me let me just put this down here. Hang on. Let me get rid of this, and we'll put this here. I'm curious to see about this floating base, and the reason I want to test this floating base out. Also, if it doesn't want to snap, guys, just move the camp for a little bit. It's a little bit too far up, it's a little bit too far back, and it doesn't want to snap. The placement's wonky, but that's because the, the game doesn't want to do it, because it's not supposed to. So, but if we go, let's see, I'll go two, I'll go, I will do a two by two, and we'll check, we'll test that out, okay? We'll test the two by two out. And we'll see if we can place this somewhere else. I'm just going to do a two by two. Obviously, you can, there's a lot you can do with this, with this, if you, if, if you, you know Bethesda doesn't catch you and ban your 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 account for it, I would be careful with it. I really would. We'll do a two by. I guess we'll do a two by two. We'll just do a two by two and see if this floats. Let's um, let's go get rid of that campfire, and then we're gonna go. Maybe I get rid of this, and then get rid of this, and then can I get rid of that? Yeah, and then this. And then this. And then we're going to get rid of this one right here. And then we're going to get rid of this one right here. So what you basically have is a floating base, guys. Right? It's not connected to anything. Right? There's nothing connecting it to anything. It's literally a floating base, which is something that they were trying to keep people from doing. But somebody figured it out, and so here we are. So let me go ahead. I'm going to pick, up, I'm, I'm going to pick my camp up. We're going to, actually, we're going to move my camp just down the road let's just go like 20 feet and move and move and move the camp and see if you can place that floating base anywhere so let's go here let's move my camp and yeah i'll just do like that 
Okay, I picked it up, and it should have turned it into a, a blueprint. So we'll go into the, the V section here. And this is a blueprint of my... Okay, so I it will not let you place it again. All right, you can place it down, but you can't float it. Once it's there, guys, your floating base will just be there. You can't, you can't, it's not, you, you can only place it back down into the ground. If you wanted to, to fix that again, I guess what you could do, let's see if we can do this. Let's, let's just start this again. If you have your base template, your floating base template, right? And you want to use it again, you want to float it again. This is what I'm thinking. Is you can just, you'd have to put four more foundations down. I want to see if you can actually put a blueprint in. Come on. There you go. Like that. All right. So we're going to go like this. We'll grab the ladder. We'll do this one more time. Grab our half walls or half or half floors. And there. And then we'd have to put another one of these here. Oh, I need the campfire, don't I? Okay, let me get the campfire. Get the campfire, put that there. And then The whole point of this is to see if I can if I can put an existing blueprint on this this floating area to make it work. This is the this is the most difficult part of the job right here, really, is getting this first one to clip, this first foundation to stack. And then after that, it's pretty pretty easy. Come on. I may not want to. Wait, I saw it. There it is. All right, so let's go ahead and pick this up. Let's try it. We'll just try it right here, I guess, and see if I can get this to snap. All right, let's see if we can get the blueprint to snap onto it. Whoa. See, it's not wanting to work. That's the problem. Is once you have this floating this floating base that that this guy put down, and I, I'll let you figure out who he is. Actually, you know what? I'll, t I'll send you to him. Hang on. He's his name is Monster Bird Nation is the guy's name. So if you guys want to go to Monster Bird Nation and check out his videos on uh, the builds that he's doing, he did. He showed how to stack foundations and he showed how to make a. Uh, I think the last one I that he I saw was a castle build, but it's not movable. All right, so guys, this this is not movable, and once you get it put there, you're gonna, it's gonna have to stay where it's gonna have to stay. And I don't even know. You know what? I don't even know whether it will put it back. You know what? Let's let's test that right quick. I'm curious to see if this will hold water after you after you log out and log back in. I don't think it will. I don't think it will. Let's go ahead and place this campfire right here. And let's go ahead and go with this right there. All right. So let's go, we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. And we're just going to have the one floating foundation, okay? Just for the sake of argument. We're going to have the one floating foundation. All right. So you have a floating foundation. Middle of nowhere. Let's, let's just assume this is your, going to be your base. We're going to log out and we're going to log back in. And we're going to see if this floating foundation even exists when we come back. So we're going to go ahead and quit the game to desktop. I'm going to quit, go completely out of the game. Come back. See what happens with the, uh, with the build. All right, guys. I've logged back in. And... My base is right here. It's supposed to be right here, right directly in front of me. All right, here's the camp. Oh yeah, floating foundation still here, guys. All right, well, it looks like that it will it will bring your base back to where it was once you log back in, guys. So it looks like this might be legit, except for there's one thing that I want you guys to remember is that with Bethesda being on, they're 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 really sore about a lot of things in this game, and I highly suggest that you think you really think about this before you do this exploit because if you do you might get your account banned. I might get my account banned for showing you this, but I wasn't the originator of it. I'm just passing it along, show you what you can do with this, and I hope you, you use this, this glitch, this exploit with, with care, because it will be, you can create invulnerable walls and bases with this, 
as another super thick the amount of radius you have on your property line would al allow for you to go and build quite the large invulnerable wall all the way around it so that if you were in the if you were in the cranberry bog and you were you know, let's say you're getting attacked by scorch beasts you're basically pretty well you know defended with the with this this foundation glitch but anyway guys i'm personally going to destroy this i'm not going to use it but i thought i'd pass it along to you because it seemed interesting to me and i wanted to test it out so now that it's been tested thoroughly guys i hope you guys uh I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you uh, hope you take this knowledge to heart and use it wisely. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And uh, we'll probably come back to Fallout 76 in the future once they get things uh, worked out a little bit better. They, they got some patches that are kind of funky, and so we're, that's why we're kind of staying away for the moment. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.